Morning guys. So running a bit behind this morning and stuff, so it's raining, hushing it down, taking the kids to school in the car and then of course I've got to go meet Rach because it's uh, shop day. Look at so I don't look happy this morning. Are you alright you lot? No. It's not cold, it's mild again today. Warm? Yeah, it is warm, yeah. No, it's cold. It's definitely not cold. Yeah, it is, in its side. Daddy, you've got a coat on. And it's raining and cold. Yeah. Right, so let's do this. Bye, kids. Have a nice day. Love you. Bye. Go on then, quick, before I get in trouble parking here. Bye, mate. Love you. Watch the road before you cross it. The first stop, you may guess, is Sainsbury's. And I thought she might be here waiting for me, but she isn't. So maybe she's still in Iceland. You see, it's one of them big shop days today where we need freezer stuff as well as cupboard and fridge. And so Rachel has gone straight to Iceland's after work, as she does. <sighs> and then I was going to pick her up from Sainsbury's. She always wants some bits from here. Plus, she'll probably get my flavoured water. And then we'll go on to Aldi. One in the back's a bit grumpy. Getting a bit grumpy. Are you a bit grumpy, Chloe? There she is. Did you do Iceland's okay? Good, good. Aldi then. Looks like I'll get out of shopping then. I know, it sounds tight, doesn't it? Rach going in shopping on her own. But she got most of it at Iceland. So she said, she, when we got here, she said, I'll just nip in quickly and uh, just get the few bits that we need so she'll literally believe well, well, I can't speak literally I still can't speak words out literally be about five minutes depending on the queues in there looks quite busy actually yeah so uh, Chloe Bowie wasn't happy about that but she's all right now she's climbing all over the car I let her out of the car seat she's having to wonder about the car <laughs> aren't you come and say hello here she comes here, look. Who's this? Say hello. Yee. <laughs> you cheeky. Say hello. Wave. Wave at everyone. She wants to press every button. There you All the food shopping is done. Now we're just popping into town. Rachel's going to pop into a uh, shoe zone. Have I got it right? I always want to say shoe fair because that's what it used to be. Um, she wants some more. What are they? Who? Plimsolls. Plimsolls. Slip on things, I don't know, she likes them. And they're dead cheap. Um, but they're brilliant for, for warmer weather, even though, to, well it is muggy again today, but the weather is absolutely awful. Hashing it down again. Next door are a pain in the... You know what? So we get back from shopping, I can't get in the driveway. They've got a car parked out there. Right in front of my driveway. So we knock on the door, they look out the window and they ignore us. So we keep knocking, they ignore us. Eventually someone comes to answer the door, said, can you move the car? The people's car that it is have gone out in another car and took the keys with them. So the people that are next door can't move that car. So they've rang them and they're gonna be like 10 minutes before they get home. But why park it there? Honestly, some people have got no common sense, but it's not the first time. They do it to Jen down the road as well all the time. She's, she's normally knocking them up first thing in the morning because she's going out to work at seven and she has to knock them up to move the car because she can't get the... Oh, I don't know. They just don't... They don't care. It annoys me. Anyways, I've had to leave the shopping in the car because I've had to park the car all the way down the road because I can't park it out there because I'll be blocking next door. So I'm not going to do the same as what they're doing. <sighs> Oh, people. Chloe's off for a morning nap. I'm going to get the bathroom clean. And guess what? They said there'd be 10 minutes. It's been over an hour now. And the car's still parked there, look. Yay, we've managed to get the shop in at last. They've moved the car. But the people who parked it there still ain't back. The lad that lives next door, he come out and he actually pushed it to move it. And then the girl that lives there, she did come out and apologise. She said, I will be telling them when they get back uh, not to park the car there anymore. She said, it's unfair. 
which it is, and uh, oh, it made me mad. Um, I think I could get in a bit of a mood today because I'm tired. I didn't sleep well last night at all. Um, when I finally did nod off, so woke me up, she had a bad ear. She had an earache, so I had to come down and get her some medicine. She was alright this morning, by the way. And then as I was going back to bed, Chloe woke up, so... Oh, yes. I didn't sleep well at all, so today I feel a bit ooh, grouchy, I suppose. But, yeah, I know it's not their fault as such who live there next door. It's their visitors they've got there, but like I said to her, at the end of the day, a bit of common sense. You know. Anyway, that's that done with. Stop whinging. Let's get the shopping put away. Iceland's will be here soon as well. Um, but before I get on, I'll just say a big happy birthday to Jack Sneddon. I hope you've had a great day. This is the footwear Rach got. This is what I was on about earlier. These things, like plimsoll things. Two for eight pounds, so she got a black pair and a white pair. I think she prefers the white pair. She also picked these up for Soph, because Soph is in need of shoes. She's, only, she's wearing boots at the minute. And with the weather getting warmer and stuff, these are, are better for her, easier to get on as well. Uh, although, when it gets a bit warmer, I think Rachel's going to get some like, what are you getting them? Like sandals and stuff, so. Yeah, Liam had a pair not so long back. Lacey had a pair not so long back. So there we go. All good. Time to get Munchkin. Hi, Munchkin. Is it lunchtime, Munchkin? Eh? Hey, Iceland still hasn't been. Eh? Hey? Munchkin. What's up with this again? Perhaps this one shouldn't have got up just yet. Mmm. Don't push it away, Ty Bye. Some nice orange on there. Ooh, mmm. You like an orange? Mmm. Is it a bit sour? Mmm. Oh, you dropped it. It's here! It's here. It's time to fight with the freezer. Rach picked this up for the kids for after tea because it needs using up today, so they'll be really happy with that. Alright then, Chloe. Let's go. Let's get it put away. Hey, these are those crisps that I was talking about yesterday. They're different ones to what I had the other day. They're the ones I had the other day, they were cool. These are different ones which we'll have to try. Our Rich has picked this up for our bathroom. So I'll give it a whirl tonight. I mean, I know I've cleaned the bathroom today and I could just put some down now. But it says here, for best results, leave overnight, so... I'm going to put some down before we go to bed. I know I'm sad, but I like, I like my cleaning stuff. I'm like a drowned rat. Look at me. Huh. Well, I went on the school run and it eshed it down, didn't it? And silly me took the jacket that doesn't have a hood on instead of taking my hoodie thing. Huh. That was horrible. Should have gone in the... Should have took the car, shouldn't I? Yeah. Yeah. So how's my little Liam today? Daddy. we did some math test. Then it was fat. Oh yeah. And we're having the day off on Thursday. Not a day off, but day off do not oh, do that. Oh right, yeah, you're not you're gonna have a day from exams. Yeah. yeah. How do you think you did? Mm. You can only try your best. Do you think you did alright? Yeah. Did you try? Yeah. Good lad. There was one that was really hard but I, I think I got it right. Yeah. Well, we hope so. We'll see, won't we? Yeah. Yeah, another bad day. No. Yes. What do I look like? Like me, wet, like a rat. <laughs> He's a good old. Now then, pack up eater. Are you eating all the pack up already? I forgot. Shop day. As soon as shop comes in, you like hey, eat. Hey, is anyone Mmm, really. How's your day? There's loads of chocolate bars to pack up. Yes, but it's got to last all week. I know, but it's like Thursday tomorrow, right? Yes, it's still got to last a whole week, seven days. Okay. Oh, for Daddy, as well. we got to see um, our pack up for when we go holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had a good day? It, maybe you've been all gone then. What have you been doing? Mm. Maths, English, and French. Is that it? Yeah. Oh. No, and we did us. We carried on our scripts for. Our, we're doing a video at school. Mountains. That's it. And I'm going to get straight on. I'm going to uh, empty the lunch boxes and uh, wash them up, make the packed lunch ready for tomorrow. 
Then I'm gonna peel some potatoes. In fact, I'll probably peel potatoes first. And the kids are having sausage and mash and stuff for tea tonight. When I say stuff, I mean gravy, veg, and all that stuff. That's for you, Bill. Potatoes are peeled. Pet lunches are done. I'm not gonna put tea on just yet. It's only four o'clock. I think I might put it on about half past four. I'd be ready for five. And then do the old same thing that we do, get cleaned up and wait for Rich to get home. The first one to sit down to tea is Miss Lacey Lou. Is it good? That's safe. Why are you both been arguing and falling out anyway? Yeah. I heard you fighting. Why have you been doing yeah. this? Yes, yeah, come in, Chloe. Come get in your chair, sweetheart. Are you in mood, Sam? Yeah. Yeah. She's in the mood. Here's the naturist. <laughs> Enjoy, mate. And it's still raining then. It's been raining all day near enough. Look at it. What's the trifle like, Chloe Bo? What's the verdict? Is it good? Nice? Mmm, she says. Gorgeous. I knew you'd like it. Good, mate. Daddy, there's jelly in it. Well, it's trifle. You say what, guys? Say what? You'll have to speak up. I'm a trifle deaf in this ear. <laughs> Come give me kisses, Chloe. Bedtime. <laughs> Good girl. Good night, sweetheart. Ta ta. Ta ta. Take your book. I have no idea what me and Rich are going to have for tea, but probably just a quick snack, probably a sandwich and something. Something like that, I see. Uh, twins have already gone up to bed. There have been a handful tonight. Well, Lacey has, and uh, so she's, well, they've been told to go to bed. So, so it's off to bed very shortly too. And, uh, yeah, I don't feel in the best of moods this evening. But like I said earlier, I think half of my trouble today is feeling tired. Hopefully I'll sleep a lot better tonight, so. But, yeah, I think I'm... Uh, Gonna end this one here. Hope you've all had a brilliant day. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, we will see you tomorrow, guys. Take care and peace out.